What's up, Jet Nation? Green Bean here, and at this campsite, would you believe it? Across the way, there's these colors flapping in the wind, and I just had to talk to them when we come back. Welcome back, Jet Nation. Today, I am here with Jody Baldwin, a lifetime member of the Bills Mafia. I come out here to get some peace and look what I have to look at. Look what I have to stare at. And it's flapping, you can hear it flapping in the wind. It's uh, it's quite the something. So it turns out they're actually friendly Bills fans, if you can imagine that. So we're, at, we're getting along just fine and she was gracious enough to spend some time with us and answer a few questions so we can get it from the Bills fan perspective. So without further ado, what do you think is gonna happen week one when the Jets travel to Buffalo? to play the Bills? I mean, that's not a tough question. Uh, Sam Darnold's <laughs> going to be on the ground a lot, I think. Okay. Uh, Josh Allen's going to be throwing to our new number one wide receiver, Stephon Diggs. You like that? Be pretty awesome. We got a new new, uh, nice receiving core going on. What so do you think pretty of them, excited. What do you think of them trading for Stephon Diggs? Is that something you're in favor of? You like it? I'm good with it. Uh, I created a draft board. I've got a Bills room at home and <laughs> number one draft pick. I just wrote in Stephon Diggs. I mean, there he's you go. experienced and, you know, it's to me, it wasn't throwing anything away. We right. would have had to move up to probably get who we wanted. So That's right. it worked and, out. And he's a proven receiver as opposed to taking, you know, spending your pick on somebody that's a big question mark. So you're Absolutely. good with it. I'm Stephon good with that. Diggs, Stephon good number Diggs. one pick. So what? Do you, so you think the Bills are going to beat the Jets? Is that what you're? Is that what I'm hearing? I'm absolutely saying that. So yes. she thinks the Bills are going to beat the Jets. You have a score prediction? Uh, let's see. Let's go. I'm going to go 32, 21. 32 to 21. That's going to be tough to watch. I'll tell you. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> so question number two: Josh Allen versus Sam Darnold. What do you What do you got? Who you Who you liking? Career wise, going. Who, who's going to have the better career? I mean, I'm a Bills fan, so I'm going absolutely Josh Allen all the way. <laughs> it's hard I mean, not to. We need to see his accuracy, long ball accuracy, improve a little bit. But, um, you know, that guy can do it all. He can run. He can hurdle players. I don't know if anybody ever saw that uh, yeah, last seen that. year. So that was pretty cool. What would you think of that last, that playoff game? Yeah, that Josh was Allen. Tough. Josh Allen kind of had a big mistake there at the end, didn't he? He sure did. Yeah. Absolutely. That was that was tough to watch that on our end to, for sure. But you don't think that's going to be any in, indication of his future? He's going to rug. He's going to uh, shrug that off. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's been shrug. working hard all off season. He's already been working with the rookies and everybody. Okay. He was out in California. Now he's down in Florida and working with Stefan Diggs and the new rookies. So that's pretty cool. That's right. And you see, uh, Josh Allen and Sam Darnold are actually working out together. They have been. They they worked out last year together as well. It's tough that they're such good friends, isn't it? It's it like is. You want to root against one of them, right. but they're buddies. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I know. Sam Darnold had a rough rough year last year i mean getting mono, mono. and everything like that was tough that How was did tough the, for well, sure from a bills fan perspective did you at least have some sympathy for us oh i no? absolutely did yeah. who's your favorite player on the buffalo bills i'm current yeah current team. current right right current. Let's i want to talk about jim kelly stuff i mean i am a jim kelly I fan bet. i bet i used to hang out with him back in my college oh, days oh yeah yeah Get out of town yeah him andre reed bruce smith thurman thomas oh well those were, oh, that, yeah. that was the team that huh? was the crew for sure that was the crew See, i mean look i do feel free four super bowls in a row you at least one you know i know it's, now, it's, let me ask yeah. you though this brings up a good point is that worse than not getting there like four in a row losing does that feel worse i legitimately it felt question. worse going through each one at the time but the fact that we were there four years in a row is pretty tough to beat so uh, nobody else it's, does it's, that it's a great accomplishment for them yeah so let's get oh so i asked oh, you who's so your favorite, favorite player, player. Right. um cole beasley i think is pretty fun cole to beasley. watch when he's out there um so he was a great addition last year but um I mean, John Brown has been awesome. Mm. Um, that was another great addition. You yeah. put them together with Steph Stephon Diggs. I think right. it's going to be pretty amazing. A lot amazing. of potential. A lot um, of potential. But I would have to say my favorite all-around player right now, Trey White. I mean, Trey he White. is yeah, hysterical. Sure. He's funny. He's such a great work ethic. So you like the personality. I do. That's I big, love it. Oh, I interesting it. take. It's I about the it. personality. You know, I got to say, though, that's important to me, too. It's like we have this Jamal Adams drama. Yep. going on right now and I love him as a player but I do wish he would just shut up I yeah do. I know so you know I don't love his personality he seems like a nice guy and everything but right that does have an impact on us it does. doesn't it? and he's a great player I mean I think 
I think he was absolutely overlooked for uh, defense, you know, um, defensive player of the year. Um, uh, maybe, yeah. I mean, would you look at his and uh, what's the guy's name from that other <clears throat> team, Stefan Gilmore? You look at their stats, they're very similar. Right. Trey White actually had less yards um, against him than that? Stephon Gilmore did. So Right, it's like these other guys have like a reputation or something. Yeah. Sometimes they get considerations where a lesser known guy doesn't get it. Right. Or like they're on the Jets or Bills. We get overlooked a lot, don't we? We do. You we know? absolutely we're like, do. We're, you know, we're like uh, whipping boys, if you, you know, yeah. for lack of a better term. <laughs> so what do you think of our division now that Tom Brady's gone? What do you think of the Pats? I mean, they seem to not have an identity right now, but you can't you can't count them out. Belichick, you know, even though I hate him, is a great coach. <laughs> I hate him. It I did. I said that, it. I hate him. I, know, I hate too. Brady. Hate it. Hate it. Um, He's got a plan. You know You know he's got a plan. He's not leaking it. He's not going to tell anybody. I kind of do wish we could have taken down the Pats with Brady there. Um, like, I'm one of those. Yeah. That, yeah, I'm glad he's gone, but I would have loved uh, to have had him there and take him down. So, I guess Bill's Mafia, we'll just uh, we'll see him in the Super Bowl against Tampa Bay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and we'll, right, and I, if that happens, I'm going to be so upset. I want him to go down to Tampa Bay and just wither into a prune and go away that's what i want for this guy all right it is hard to discount bill belichick it sucks to say it yeah you know so we had that one day in 2010 where we beat them in their house in the playoffs and then that yep. was it we thought that was going to be the I right know. through tom brady and the patriots to the super bowl and then we don't get there we've had been there and then time management clock management gets us every time Isn't with belichick and they come back you can't count them out you can't count them out mm -mm. if there's 14 seconds left and you're down by you a know score, you're still hanging on the other yeah. edge of your seat. Yeah, hopefully Jared Stidham or whoever starts for quarterback for them doesn't have the same magic as Tom Brady right. has. You know what I mean? So one final question for you. Sure. Uh, prediction for your season. What do you think? Record and, and how far are you going to go? I mean, I think we'll be back into the playoffs and at least win one more playoff game. I know a lot of – we. I've heard comments. They think, you know, not a great – still mediocre. I think – I see – 10 to 11 wins out of this team. Um, you know, we had a top five defense. At times we were number two, number one, close to number one. I think if the defense stays strong and Josh Allen can get um, his accuracy down on the long ball um, and not take a lot of chances with his legs and getting hurt, right. I think we have a good chance. 10, 11 wins. He's got to calm down bound. a little bit, right? A little bit. Playoff bit. bounce. And you think you're going to get in the playoffs and win a game? We'll at least win a game. But you yes. don't see yourselves going necessarily to the Super Bowl. I mean, you know, Good. you don't want to be cocky about it. Right. But, I mean, <laughs> of course that's the goal, right? Like, that's the hope that yeah. they make it that far and get to the Super Bowl. And, um, you know, with this corona stuff going on, I'm like, just our luck, we, you know, we could get there. And this would be our year, and yeah. maybe they won't you know, play. Funny. Like, we'll see. We have similar sentiments running through our fan yeah. group as well you know it's like see finally you know we looks like we're you know we got a quarterback or whatever and he gets yeah. mono it's like it's always mono. something yeah. for us isn't it <laughs> well i'm rooting for you against everybody except us you know us too. if it's gonna be some i'm always a big fan of like you know the browns or the bills or yep. so you know somebody so like us getting there i'm tired getting of these there. you know that's why i was happy with the chiefs last year take out bit. the patriots we'll take out the patriots and, and there you go yeah well it's gonna be fun week one i do appreciate your time this was great Thank uh, you this for is Jody asking. Baldwin, Bill's Mafia, and we'll Thanks, see Thanks, Jet Nation. Yes. Go, Bill's Mafia. <laughs> see you next Ooh. time.